Joining us now is Zscaler CEO Jay Chowdhury. Jay, it's great to have you on the show. And that's exactly where I want to start with you, because we're seeing geopolitical tensions flare. We're seeing not just an election year here in the U.S., but this is a record year for elections across the world. More than half the world's population is going to cast votes this year. Plus, we have this ongoing transformation of cloud technologies, adoption of generative AI. What is your outlook for fiscal, or I should say for calendar year 2024, and what is that going to mean for cyber budgets? So Morgan, thank you for the opportunity. It's a perfect storm. Elections, geopolitical issues, bad actors trying to make money without working hard. We've seen a big increase in all these threats, especially in crypto threats. So it goes with, without really a lot of research that threats are increasing, they will keep on increasing. The good thing is the security providers are also coming up with better and better technologies. The key for enterprises is to embrace these new technologies to fight back these bad guys. There's no lack of funds in cyberspace. There's no lack of technology. It's the inertia that's holding most of the companies back. Hackers do not have inertia. Enterprises do. So our job is to make sure we work with progressive companies, government agencies, to really have them embrace zero trust technology. And that's really the best defense we can have. And of course, we're also seeing the implementation of new regulations as well. You have these new SEC disclosure rules that went into effect last month. You've got similar regulations being adopted by other countries right now as well. What does that mean in terms of an opportunity for growth and for more deals for Zscaler? So I talk to lots of CISOs, lots of CIOs. Uh, a number of them are pretty nervous about some of the SEC regulations. And they should be when SEC says you must disclose in four days when SEC starts filing lawsuit against solar winds and personally the CISO, it becomes a little bit scary. But I think some of the regulations are needed. When government goes too far, it starts having side effects that are not very good. I do believe that some of these regulations will start increasing, but industry and government needs to work together so we come up with on the right level of regulations. And companies like Zscaler are out there to help customers to meet those regulations. For example, Zscaler released a new AI-powered service, which can actually generate a report automatically that discloses all the risks that a company has. Mm. So the solutions are available. If we work together, we can be ahead of the bad guys. So, Jay, uh, Happy New Year, first of all. Thank you. Uh, uh, asking you about your leadership team. You brought in a lot of new C-level execs. I think four announced in September. A lot of go-to-market mm -hmm. experience. How long is it going to take for them to get to full strength? So the leadership team keeps on evolving and up-leveling all the time. I've done it from time to time. Recently brought in our president for global sales, our CRO, from ServiceNow, who has taken the company up to about six, seven, eight billion dollars. We have ambitions to go from two to five or seven billion dollars. And we brought a CMO who has great experience. We brought a CTO last year who actually comes from scaling the technology. So this is a part of a plan to keep on scaling Zscaler to next levels. These leaders know us well. So I think we are well on our way to execute we have a significant lead over the competition. We got a great, what I call zero trust architecture that we pioneered. Mm. So we are going to stay focused on building solutions, providing to our customers, and taking care of our customers. That's key to success. Well, I'm very proud, proud of our NPS score of over 70. 